One Last Secret by Adele Parks, published by Headline. And this is a thriller, in fact, it's billed as a provocative thriller that is set in London, but mainly in the south of France at a rather austere chateau. And I think if you're looking for a gripping summer read, 2022, so poolside or beachside, and particularly if you're going to be in the south of France, because I think you'll be surrounded by that French feel, you know, the food, the crickets, um, and that ambiance that you can only get in France, then I think this is one to um, put on your radar. Most of the chapters are mainly from uh, Dora's perspective. Dora is in fact Theodora, who originally came from Serbia, um, but came to England in her younger years. And we look back at her childhood and understand the traumas and incidences that happened to her that bring her to where she is now. And now she is working as a high class escort in the upper echelons of English society. She is very careful about the clients she sees. She is quite savvy. She is quite disciplined. She has clear boundaries on what she will do and what she won't do. She has an agent. So in a way, she has got her life sorted. It brings her enough money. She's got a fairly small flat, but you know, she doesn't really want for everything. But of course, there is one thing that's missing and that is care and nurture from a partner. She finds someone um, who she's known for quite some time and they both get to the point where they think actually you know we could actually get married at some point because um, it would suit both our narratives. You'd get something Dora and he would get something because it would suit his family's narrative to get married. So there she is um, about to get married looking at a different path in life than the one she's been leading until now. When Daniel comes along, and Daniel is an ex-client, and he asks her whether she would like to do one last gig for him, which is going to be um, a bit of arm candy in the south of France at a chateau. Um, they won't be intimate, it's just simply to be there on a platonic level, to look glamorous, to look elegant, and to be his partner, his plus one. And it's off to the south of France. It's club class all the way, it's chauffeur pickup, and they arrive at the chateau. It's quite cold, it's very austere, it has you know lots of marble, um, but they get settled in and go through to the pool, and there are lots of people who are obviously dripping in money, sipping champagne, looking elegant, looking quaffed. And then she notices that one of the people there is someone with whom she has had history. And she suspects this is not going to pan out well for her. She's also not feeling very sharp. She feels a bit fuzzy headed. She thinks, well, maybe, you know, this is her last um, adventure into her old life and the new life is there before her. Um, but things are just not working out quite right but she can't quite put her finger on what's going on and of course that's where the thriller takes off we find out you know where the past comes to meet the present and so I think if you want a well-paced tense uh, novel and we know Adele Parks writes really good novels then one last secret set in the wonderful south of France is certainly one to pick up this summer.